Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Science Gym Show. My name is indeed Jet Science Jim, and this is indeed my show. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good. Today, what I want to do is talk about radiation. Last time we got together on our little show here, we talked about nuclear plants, nuclear power, nuclear power plants. Today, I kind of want to talk about radiation. There's a lot of news. There always is about radiation, and everybody's scared of this and scared of that, and should we be scared? Is there something to be scared of? And what is it anyway? So let's talk about that today. So radiation. First of all, is it scary? <laughs> well, the monsters, the movies sure make it scary. We've got big dinosaur Godzilla things stopping over monsters and towns and things. We've got zombies rising and eating things and doing their little zombie things. So yeah, it's kind of scary. But at the same time, it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. We've got radioactive spiders biting people and then those people have special magical powers. And then it kind of gets cool and kind of scary. Uh, Bruce Banner gets exposed to radiation and turns into the Hulk and gamma rays and this kind of... So, what is it? Is it cool? Is it scary? Is this all just science fiction nonsense? Yes, it's all science fiction nonsense. At least this part of it is. But what's the reality? Well, let's see if we can talk about that today and figure that out. Basically, what it comes down to is radiation is energy that moves in waves or high-speed particles. There. Got it? Yeah, I know. I don't really have it there either. Let's keep going, see if we can figure out the rest. We are exposed to radiation all the time. There's radiation all around us. We're exposed to a bunch of it. In a minute, I'm going to show you how. But the radiation comes from a variety of sources, stuff that we've made, our radios, our televisions, our cell phones, light bulbs, these all make radiation, or they work because of radiation, primarily electromagnetic radiation, but that is a form of radiation. It's also all around us because of the thing we live on and in. The Earth has radiation. It's giving off radiation all the time. The sun is basically a big ball of radiation. It's a big nuclear power plant in the sky. So it's always giving off radiation. And then space itself has a lot of radiation moving through it, through us. As you sit there right now, there are cosmic rays going right through your roof, you, the floor, and out and beyond. So radiation is all around us all the time. So why are we scared of it? Well, there's some good reasons for it, and then there's some reasons that aren't really that good. So is radiation bad? Well, the average American gets 360 millirems of radiation a year. What's a millirem? I don't know. When I was doing research <laughs> on radiation, there's so many different ways to describe radiation and radiation units. Basically, the radiation unit that they use to say that a human or a creature has been exposed to it is either a rem or perhaps a sievert. They're both very similar. They both mean very similar things. It basically is how much can a creature take before things go bad? How much can they absorb? The average American gets 360 millirems a year. That sounds pretty scary. Now, here's what's interesting. If you live on the west coast of America, towards, uh, you know, California and stuff, you only get 240 millirems a year. For those of us on the east coast, I'm on the east coast, we get 1,700 millirems a year. Now, you're like, oh, that's because of all the nuclear power plants. That's, no, it's really not. That's not what it is. It's because on this side of the coast, there just happens to be more radon in the soil. There just happens to be more radio materi radioactive materials in the earth itself. Okay, So it's not necessarily man-made stuff here that's causing us to have more or less. I'm not saying man-made stuff isn't necessarily bad, but those of us on the East Coast are being more affected by radiation because of natural radiation sources. So that sounds like a lot. 1,700 milligrams. Oh my goodness. But let's take a look at the radiation doses here. Take a look at this. Basically, if you get an x-ray, you're being exposed to 30 to 60 millirems in one x-ray. 
Sounds big, sounds small, I don't know. Uh, in about five years period of time, if you're working in a nuclear power plant or you are working in a hospital dealing with you know radiation because you are making the x-rays, you are doing the CAT scans, you are allowed about 2,000 millirems of radiation a year. In, in five years, you can get 2,000 millirems of radiation. And then apparently you just can't do that anymore. I'm not too sure what happens after that. Now, at 5,000 millirems, as far as science can tell right now, that is the lowest dose that they think causes cancer. At 5,000 millirems, they're like, you know, there, there might be a causal effect between the amount of millirems this guy just took and the fact that he or she just got cancer. 5,000 millirems. That's a pretty decent amount. We normally get 1,700. Some of us only get 20, 240 so 5,000 seems like a fairly large amount. If it goes up to 10,000 millirems, then there's a pretty good chance that's going to cause cancer. But that's 10,000 millirems. Now, there's another thing about 10,000 millirems over a long period of time. If you happen to get it in a short period of time, say in some sort of a strange radioactive accident or, or something like that and you get exposed to a large amount of radiation in a short period of time, that's a different story. That's going to affect you much greater. Okay, So that's why it says uh, probably of cancer greater, but if exposure, exposure is a short term, you've got a definite risk on getting cancer from that. At 100,000 to a million millirems, now you're in deep trouble. Okay, that's when you are going to be sick at least, and there's a good chance you're going to come down with cancer, and there's a pretty good chance you may have enough millirems there that that will just kill you. Last but not least is a million, a million millirems. Yeah, that's a big, big problem. Okay, um, but take this in dose here. It's extremely rare for anybody in one dose to get more than a couple of hundred millirems in a dose, okay? So when you're reading these, go, oh no, the next time. It, this stuff didn't come out of Chernobyl. <laughs> the people who were in Chernobyl when it blew got the upper levels of this chart. Three Mile Island didn't get these kinds of rems when the things went bad in Three Mile Island, okay? So these amounts that you see here are very, very rare and happen very, very, not very often at all. Usually radiation is around us all the time in small enough proportions that it's relatively safe. So let's talk about radiation. There's two kinds of radiation. Ionizing radiation and there's non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation is relatively safe. Radios, light from the sun, cosmic rays from space, Heat is actually a form of non-ion, it's radiation. Heat is radiation. Uh, the sun also makes non-ionizing radiation. Unless you get too much of it, it's relatively safe. And by too much of it, I mean a lot of it. Um, if you get a lot of heat radiation, infrared radiation, you can burn yourself. If you're out in the sun too long, you can get a sunburn. If you're out in the sun too long, too often, you might get cancer. You might get skin cancer. So yes, it's dangerous but you need a lot of it before it gets dangerous, and you get some of it every single day. Now, on the bottom there, you'll see cell phone or wireless technology, this type of radiation. Is it dangerous? That's a toss-up. A lot of people say it is, but to be honest, more people say it isn't. At this point, science is still trying to figure that one out, and I'm not going to give you the answer here. So uh, we don't know yet what's going on with cell phone or wireless. Um, do your own research on that because that's not an issue I want to step into in the science gym show. <laughs> now, ionizing radiation, that's where it gets dangerous. This is where you get uranium and plutonium and radon doing its thing and this can be very dangerous. There's three basic types of ionizing radiation. Alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, Alpha is actually a particle of an atom. It's an actual proton or a neutron that is split off one atom and is flying through space as it's about to perhaps hit another atom and split that apart. thing about alpha, these particles are large, atomically large, unbelievably small at our level, but atomically large, and they're relatively weak, if you will. Uh, one of these can't go through a piece of paper. Boink! Right off of a piece of paper. So they're not really going to hurt you unless 
You get them inside of you. If you breathe them in or somehow eat them, which is don't do that, then they're going to do a lot of damage to you. But if you're exposed to them, they can't even penetrate your skin. Probably not going to do much hard. Beta is a di slightly different story. There we've got a high-speed electron moving extremely quickly. That can go through paper. That can penetrate skin a little bit. That can cause burns. That can cause damage. The one that's really dangerous, though, is the gamma ray. The gamma ray, it's called. It's actually not a particle. It's a wave of electromagnetic light. But it's moving so quickly that it acts just like a particle, and it's extremely dangerous. You can see here, alpha rays get stopped, alpha particles get stopped by paper. Beta particles are going to get stopped really by cloth, even clothes, but certainly a hunk of wood. Gamma rays, however, are going to go through several feet of concrete, several inches of lead. Okay, They'll go right through you. And the danger with gamma rays is that when they get into you, they're ionizing, which means that they can basically bounce bits of molecules apart or break molecules apart, which means they can cause mutations in your genes or just cause burning types of damage. So birth defects, cancer, burns, radiation sickness, even death can be caused by gamma rays, gamma ray radiations. Gamma ray radiation comes often with beta rays or with beta radiation and with uh, um, alpha radiation as well. This is the kind of radiation you get if you happen to be close to some reason to a uranium rock or a plutonium rock or you happen to be inside the core of a nuclear power plant completely unprotected. This <laughs> is the radiation that you're going to get. But as you can see, it's pretty hard to get that. Okay, You have to be in a real strange situation to get that. However, gamma radiation is everywhere. See that big banana? That's a big banana. But in normal bananas, have potassium. Potassium is a radioactive element. It's an unstable element, and it is constantly breaking apart. So believe it or not, when you eat, when you eat an, a, a banana, when you hold a banana, when you're next to a bunch of bananas, you're getting radiation. Is it going to kill you? No. Is it going to cause birth defects, cancer? No. Is it going to make you Spider-Man? No. Or Banana Man? <laughs> no. It's normal radiation. Your body is used to it, and it can take that kind of radiation pretty much in stride. But higher levels of radiation in the case of perhaps accidents or explosions or things like that, these are situations that are dangerous. Should we be scared of radiation? Yes. Should we be scared of it every day? No. The amount of materials and radiation that we're exposed to on an everyday basis is so small, it really can't hurt us whatsoever. With new technology, are we making more radiation in the air? We are. Is that going to hurt us? We don't know. <laughs> Most science says it's not, but it's something to keep looking into and something to be aware of as we move forward in the future. So ladies and gentlemen, when you hear on the news, radiation this and radiation this and be scared and be scared, Think about it first. I'm going to post some links on my website, thesciencegymshow.com, and you can go to there and it'll tell you a lot more information about all of this, a lot more details, uh, a lot more numbers uh, that you can find out about all of this stuff there too. So ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for hanging out with me this afternoon. Thanks so much for learning a little bit more about radiation and hopefully maybe calming down a little bit about radiation um, and at least being more informed so when your friends are panicking you can kind of say you know that banana you just ate you just got radiation no it's okay dude really so just relax tell your friends what's up be mindful be aware don't be too scared but do be conscious and have a fantastic afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the Science Gym Show at alwayssciencegym.com, kerclip.com for all your physics and science needs. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, never stop wondering. Bye-bye, everybody.